of uh, Facebook uh, paid you for, for every like that you received or every friend that you recruited. Now, Facebook may not be that generous, but there actually is a site that is. Sue is the latest to jump into the social networking craze the site launched last week, and it's based off a format, a platform rather, that gives 90% of its ad revenue back to users. Here to explain exactly how it works and how you could put more stuff <laughs> in your bank account, Sue founder Sebastian Sobchak. Hope I got that close. Mm -hmm, uh, Sebastian, the, the, you know, to, to give back 90%, I mean, that's obviously a very enticing lore. And we all hear about these YouTube stars and everyone's starting to think about, hey, how can I make money myself? I mean, is, this sounds almost too good to be true. Um, it may sound like that, but it's, it's actually true. So you, YouTube started this amazing thing where you have to reward the content creator and they've created this uh, global expanding business model that's been very successful. Um, and offline, uh, that sentiment has, has kind of uh, reigned uh, recently with kind of the federal appeals court decision um, re regarding NCA compensating people for their, their work, their likeness, um, and their image. And if you look at social today, um, it's the complete monetization of every user's content, likeness, and image that's 100% inefficient. For the user, and so if it's although let's point out, sure. users put their information on there voluntarily. Sure, they put it out there. So if somebody else is making money off of it. It's kind of tough to complain about that. Well, they're like radio stations playing everybody's song and not giving them a royalty. That's the way we, we look at it, and we don't think that's the ideal. And so we're just making it a little bit more efficient. I'm not saying sounds like you're making it a lot more efficient. Exactly. Percent. Uh, is this okay? Would this be gross revenue or after a certain oh, revenues? And, and so if you look at the billions of users that are being monetized to the tune of tens of billions of dollars annually, I mean, this is an amazing segue to be talking right after sure. you're talking about Twitter and, and you know, tomorrow's uh, Facebook earnings. Um, I mean, there's a lot of money being created and not being, I guess, efficiently distributed to the content creator, which is basically every social user. So imagine distributing 90% away. Um, our, it's not our content and it's not our interaction, so we think the lion's share should be given away. Although the lion's share could be 51%. It could be. Yeah. It could be. But if, if you give the lion's share away, which is what we think is fair, um, and, and you see uh, startups actually giving the lion's share away, um, being brokers, you, um, for example, Uber, give, you know, they only take a 20% transaction fee, Airbnb is in the 6 to 12% range. Who are you going after, though? Okay, uh, you know, your platform goes after specifically maybe content creators. creators. So, any, so you're going after Facebook, uh, uh, you're going after Twitter, I mean, you're going after every one of these guys? How does it exactly work? I'm on your platform. Sure. What am I doing on your platform that I'm generating all of this content and all of these followers? If, if I could just interject one little statement, just uh, if, if we're giving purchasing power to all these users, which are massively distributed, we'd rather play in the financial services space, giving peer-to-peer -peer payments, merchant services, and credit, and playing in that market, which is 10 times larger than the digital advertising and mobile advertising market. And that's how we're going to form our sustenance. Okay. Because the, the content creation game, it's not our content and it's not our interaction. So give it away and, and play in the financial markets. And we can so you create a loyal following because they're getting paid for something they've never gotten paid for. for their, their own but then content. you have to have a certain level of trust for them to do these financial transactions through you. Exactly. I, I mean, like and that would have paper. to come through a certain period of time. I'm like, I'm happy you're going to give me a few bucks for my tweets, but now you're telling me to pay my bills through you. That's a whole well, different kettle. And, of fish. and we don't start with paying bills. We start with donating to charities. So you can see all these amazing charities like Environmental Media Association, Charity Water, uh, Food for the Hungry. The, the, these entities now can have donations or their message monetized. Actually, we've got to go. Them. How's it? How how are you feeling right now? Uh, you know, you're you're, you're out there. How how is it feeling? I mean, people knocking down your doors. Yes, really, absolutely. It's it's a uh, it's it's a tsunami actually well, of interest. So I, I would imagine it is. I think it's an amazing idea, and I like the way you want to segue into the bigger picture where there's more money and everyone could be happy. Sue, T S U. It's pronounced Sue though. That's a, that's a website. Dot co. Dot co. Thanks a lot, Sebastian. Thank you. Hey.